Hey, what's up YouTube? Just wanted to make a quick video on my NS6, how I mapped it and how I got it to work perfectly fine with Tractor. Now, uh, there have been many complaints in the past that some of the features are not working. For example, as you can see on this deck here, the deck light doesn't show up, there's nothing rotating when you press play, there's, okay, now currently there's not a song, but anyway, there's nothing going on. And many people have complained about that. Now, there is a way to fix it, and I found it out. It's actually quite simple. Now, if you think about it, the 4-track came out just a couple of weeks, months ago, and they have also released a tractor version for it. Now, in the tractor version, which would be 2.1.2, .2, um, all you have to do in order to get that working, if you already have your N6 mapped out the way you want it to be and you just want to have the fancy lights showing, then all you gotta do is, once you go into your settings, and yeah, just click the button, all you have to do is basically go into your controller manager, then click add, and then just in, just instead of importing your own, just click on new mark for track and go to main. Sorry, my camera doesn't focus right now, but uh, you get my point. Just click it. You don't need to add um, any. You don't need to add the midis. So you don't need to take the old one you had and do it again. That's not needed. All you have to do is just add a blank, basically a blank midi. Now this might be blank to you but it's not blank to the software because basically what you're telling them or what you're telling the software is hey I've got a 4-track connected so please make my decks shine which is what they do and um, here is one deck as you can see the light is on clearly and when I push well basically when I hold my finger on it the entire thing lights up which is pretty nice now it's basically just like in the newer version of itch which I don't really want to use but um, basically it changes color so instead of being white it glows to red and when you change the layer it becomes red as well and the other thing well basically the, in the entire deck shines red as well now that's one of the things however there have been also other tweaks that I've done to my um, to my map and one of them is, for example, the beat jump. Now, beat jump, I don't know if many of you know about it, or if it's so popular, I have no idea how many people use all these features. But I like to use it because it's very useful when you're trying to make a transition and just have the wrong capture of the four beats. So, let's say I've got a song playing here, right? So, let's just play it. Here's a... I don't know if you can... Okay. Right, so that's my song playing. Now, I want to select a 4-bar beat, right? That's my 4-bar beat. Okay, now let's say, here I've clearly selected the wrong 4-bar beat. What do I do? Earlier on, I had to just remove it, but what if I missed it backwards? So what I want to do is just click the backwards button, the shift, as you would do on itch, and it will go back once. Now this you can do, like that, or if you disable the beat jump, and I've just mapped it to the, B, uh, to the bleep button, you can turn that one off, and if you want to skip the beat, if you want to skip the for loop beat, you just click it once, and it goes on, or you can go backwards and still stay in beat. Now this is a very forward, while still staying in beat, you're still in beat, so once you sync them, you don't need to resync it again. It's a pretty cool feature, and I think it's also quite useful. And, um, yeah, I mean, you can tell me what you think about it, post some in the comments, and of course, if you want the MIDI map, just let me know, and I'll be sure to upload it somewhere and put the links in the description. Thanks for watching.